All right, Poncho. Now, in Tri-City, Kentucky, African-American churches have always had great history. For example, there was the Black Church at Sawmill Hollow in Cumberland, Kentucky. There was Goo Temple AME Z in Lynch, Kentucky. There was Rising Star Baptist Church, Greater Mount Sinai Baptist Church, Macedonia Baptist Church, uh, one way Pentecostal, one way missionary Pentecostal church that is, uh, Reverend K. L. Newman's church in Cumberland, uh, Kentucky, Clutch, Kentucky, and then the church uh, was now called uh, used to be Living Waters. It used to be I can't remember what the name of the exact church is, but it used to be a black church. But what makes the Tri City Black Church so special? What makes them so special is, is that we love our communities. We love the fact to get to worship our God and just be able to put a smile on people's faces when it comes to the house of God. Uh, we rarely ever get talked about or anything, but when we get a chance to get mentioned or whatever, we take the most opportunities that we can. Uh, but you know the only two, well, the only three black churches that are around now are is One Way Missionary Pentecostal Church, which just started literally, a uh, Macedonia Baptist Church and Greater Mount Sinai Baptist Church. And it, like I said, it's a shame what happened to Rising Star Baptist Church because for years and years they was there, and for London District just not be able to fix their church and not be able to help them. It's just a shame. And Good Temple is there for years, and Reverend Kale Newman was there for years. But Tri City African American churches will always have a place in Tri City, Kentucky. No matter what they do or how they go down, they will always be remembered for their worship services and their history. And speaking of history, they was a uh, First Baptist Church in Lynch, Kentucky. Another African American church led by my grandfather, Reverend Joseph Henry West. A great man of God for years and years. And like I said, no matter what, like I said, all those churches that I just mentioned will go down in history. All those churches will forever be remembered for their legacy and for their praise.